Today we're in Bradenton, Florida, about to check out this stunning five bedroom, four full bath custom home built by Medallion in 2021 right on the Manatee River. It's got a boat dock, a pool, a three car garage. I cannot wait to show it to you. So if you've been dreaming of living that boater's life, this home has so much to offer. We've spent the last two days soaking up everything from the balcony sunset views to the pool to the boat dock, seeing boats float down the river. This house has so much to offer. If we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala, and a little over five years ago, my wife Kate and I sold almost everything we owned, packed up our family of five, moved 1,200 miles south here to the greater Tampa Bay area, and have been loving it ever since. We've also helped over 150 families do the exact same thing. So if you're considering moving to the area, all my contacts down below will jump on Zoom and get you started with the process. Now let's go inside and check out this home. Marsha's waiting. She can't wait to give us the tour. So Marsha, I know you know the owners of this home. How did you feel the very first time you walked into this house? The first time we came in, it was extremely overwhelming. They were just putting in these floating stairs. And besides all the workmen that were installing the stairs, the owners were here. And then a group of maybe six of us came walking in. So there was a lot of chaos. It was a major event. It was also the first time we'd walked in here. So it was just amazing to see all the windows and all the detail that they had put into it. We had heard about it for months. So it was incredible to see. I absolutely love this ground floor owner's retreat, starting with the double doors, welcoming you in to a wonderful entry area with bright, windows and light coming in you get to see every morning when you wake up the manatee river and you have your own private door to the lanai and just wait until you see the spa light bathroom can you imagine walking into this bathroom in the morning with all this light flowing in it would be a wonderful way to start your day with a his and her vanity a soaker tub and a double shower Let's just be real, we're at a point where every house needs to have a good home office. And this one's nice. It has a ton to offer. One of my favorite things that I noticed right away was the natural light just spilling into the room. It's not bright, it's not overwhelming. My home office, I'm sitting right next to the window and it's just kind of baking me. It's not my favorite thing. So when I walked in here, and just saw the light splashing on the floor, I was like, this is my spot, right? And we're at a time where either you have more work than you can get done at, at, at the office and you gotta bring it home, or maybe you're fortunate enough to get to work from home and having a house that offers a great home office is super important. And this house is not gonna let you down. Marsha, me loving to cook. I see kitchens like this and they just get me so excited, right? Like I have all the things that I need. You know, we got a great gas range here versus the electric because nobody loves boiling a pot on electric, right? <laughs> Those are just the features. Like how does it feel to live in this home? And for me, like when I see kitchens like this, I can see my mother-in-law, my wife, you know, her grandmother in the kitchen during the holidays and the kids are making cookies and you know we're all in here and the thing that I notice is there's plenty of space for that to actually happen right you've been here right you've been mm -hmm. here during these these holiday events or these parties that the owners host what does that feel like when you're in this space and and real life is happening Oh, it's so much fun. When they have parties, normally we go for a boat ride. Then we all come back in and the guys hit the grill and they're out there getting everything ready. All the girls are inside having a glass of wine. We all like to contribute. So we have all brought some food, but we all finish it off together. Everybody pitches in. It's yeah. a lot of fun. And this is a cozy space. There's these modern luxury touches in this home but it doesn't feel out of place. It still feels very warm and inviting and yeah. cozy, even though you've got clean lines, modern aesthetics. It's hard to do. We see a lot of houses, yes. right? We see a lot of houses. And a lot of the times when you see a home that's 4,686 square feet, people are just trying to fit rooms into that giant space. Mm -hmm. This home does not feel like that. It really feels like it was done on purpose with intent. And it's something that I've really enjoyed about this house. Yeah. Our friends did a lot of work to get this house the way it is. They spent a lot of time thinking it through, making sure they did all the fine details just the way they wanted it, and it really paid off, I think. 
One of the advantages of being a real estate agent is we get to see a lot of homes, right? So oh, that wow. means we get to see a lot of good things, but we also see things that aren't necessarily great. And one of the things I want to call out about the space that we're in right now is open floor plans are what everybody wants, right? Everybody wants open floor plans, high ceilings. We got 12 foot ceilings throughout most of the living spaces here. You know, we had the 27 foot grand entry, which is phenomenal, mm -hmm. but we're 12 feet across the rest of the house. So that can get a bit noisy and chaotic that I've noticed in a lot of other properties, but this home, again, tying it together and making it feel cozy, right? Modern amenity, modern luxury, but it still feels like home and it's an inviting, right, Marsha? Right, absolutely. This space has a great breakfast nook with aquarium windows, which is fabulous for the view that you see. Throughout the communal areas in the whole home, they have the view and it's like it's coming in. You know, the nature and the beauty is coming into the home, which adds a lot. Yeah, I mean, you even got a fireplace in this space, right? For the four or five nights a year, you might need to use it. <laughs> the house is so tight, I don't think that's gonna be an issue. I mean, it's gonna be ridiculously energy efficient, but it's gorgeous. And, and again, the views, it just makes it feel warm and inviting. It is very hard to make a large home feel cozy. Now, coming into this dining room, I know this is one of those spaces that not everybody uses. It's a nice option to have a formal dining room. You know, this is a seven foot table, so lots of space in here. You know, it can stretch out all the way to 10. You could put the entire family around here. But I know for different families, they live in houses differently. You know, we homeschool as an example. Our formal dining room has been in, turned into our school. The, the kids are there almost every day working, getting their school work done. But this space also, you know, has, it's one of those spaces that you can keep it as a formal dining room or you can convert it to something else. It can maybe be a lounge area, someplace where you just go and relax. You can put some sofas in here and make that happen. Maybe you both work from home and you've got one study. You don't want to convert one of the other bedrooms. You could take this, put some French doors on it, and now you've got another office space. So it's a really nice option. Again, great formal dining area, but this is one of those flex spaces, in my mind, that you can convert and use for almost anything in the household. All right, I'm standing in bedroom number two on the main level here, and I would probably treat this as the guest suite, to be honest with you. You know, you've got the full bathroom here, which is fantastic. It's got a humongous walk-in closet and enough room. This is a queen size bed. There's enough room to have a chair in the space. You've got a nice stand, direct access to the garage. Now we're going to head upstairs and check out the other three bedrooms and the incredible bonus flex space that leads to what I would consider sunset build, to be honest with you. Let's go check that out. So now we've moved into bedroom number three. Remember, we've got five, and this is the first of the three that we're gonna be visiting in this space today as well. And again, every single bedroom here has direct access to a full bathroom, which is a nice touch. That leads us to bedroom number four, which is an almost identical version of bedroom number three that we were just in. And again, a good sized bedroom. You know, you can chest your drawers, nightstands, you even got enough room for a chair, but the thing I forgot to show you guys is the size of these closets because sometimes the house is so big, you know, you kind of lose scale. This is an eight foot door, but check out these closets, y'all. You got more than enough room for all the kids' clothes, all the extra toys, if that's what you got going on, or just whatever the needs are, it's great. And then that takes us over to bathroom number four. And this is the one full bathroom that does share another space with the other bedroom, but they're using it as the home gym, so let's go check that out. All right, so now as we move into bedroom number five, which technically they're using as the home gym, as you can see, I know, I'm in my full Arnold swag right now. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But it is a really cool flex space, right? So when you have five bedrooms, you have a lot of options. If you got a big family, you, you know, obviously you're gonna need more bedrooms, but you can use as a great example of home gym, home office, whatever you need to do. This house has a lot to offer. I mean, it's so big, Drew's standing in the closet shooting me right now. So, I mean, that's how big this space is. You got plenty of room to entertain, plenty of room for family. And before we end this, we're gonna go check out some of the coolest spaces. We're gonna go check out this flex space with the additional wet bar and then we're gonna go check out the gorgeous exterior of this home y'all wait till you see the pool wait till you see the balcony wait till you see the dock wait till you see the river waterfront living at its finest now we're in what i would consider probably my most favorite room in the entire house here everybody loves a great wet bar for me i would have great tequila great bourbon stocked here a really nice coffee espresso machine just right on top here because you need a great breakfast bar too right y'all the tv while that's a great size television i mean there's nothing wrong with 80 inches plus either so i mean there's <laughs> plenty of room on that wall to put it up there in this space here you know they've got it as a second living room or mm -hmm. second family room if you will you've got the banquette which is 
awesome. You know, table there, aquarium glass overlooking the, the gorgeous river again. Yeah. But you could use this space in so many different ways, right? If you've got a bunch of kids like we do, I'm sure that they would probably take over this. As a man, I always dream of having a man cave, but I know what happens to those things. They typically get overtaken Taken by the over. children. <laughs> yeah. The children are the white. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'd be fighting for it too. <laughs> yeah. And this space belongs to everyone, right? Like, yeah. again, it's a beautiful communal area, but it really takes us to what is my favorite area of the entire house here y'all like let's go check this out i mean can you imagine walking out to this gorgeous gulf coast sunset every single day now marcia this is the spot right we've been talking it, about this news through this entire video and i just couldn't wait I to know. get out here because the views are unbelievable and for for me i know that this is where our family would spend the majority of the time at least kate and i would we would Absolutely. be hanging out here every night you know you've got these great loungers here yes. i could totally see myself nudged up here <laughs> margarita just yeah. hanging, watching that unbelievable sunset. And y'all, we moved here and the thing that made us choose the Tampa Bay area is the Gulf Coast sunsets. There is nothing like a Gulf Coast sunset. I, I have seen a lot of beautiful sunsets. We just got back from Hawaii, which was incredible too, y'all. The, <laughs> the natural beauty out there is amazing, but what it made me realize was how beautiful our sunsets here yeah. are at home. And overlooking the river, I've had the fortune, Marcia sold more than a few properties over here. And we were at one of the owners watching the sunset off their balcony. And it was so gorgeous. The view is the best part of this house. And it comes, it floats into the house and you get to come out and experience it. We love to go to restaurants by boat avoid traffic and it's an adventure or an event rather than just getting in your car and going somewhere it's an experience well the reason that you choose a home on the river is because this is a boater's paradise yeah right? as we started the whole video that way i think it's super important to recognize like how are you living not just in the home but how are you living in the community marcia's giving you a great example of that you know marcia can you tell us some some boating times you talk about not drive times but how yeah. long by boat does it take to get to downtown bradenton what other oh. areas are you going to in your boat okay yeah from here i it would take about 20 minutes to get to downtown Bradenton. There's several restaurants along the river that you can boat to. They have slips, so it makes it wonderful. But if you want to go out to Anna Maria Island, it's about 45 minutes. And if you want to go all the way down to Jewfish Key, it's about an hour. Jewfish Key is in Sarasota Bay? Yes, right? it's right where Anna Maria Island and Longboat Key meet. Awesome. So it's a small island with maybe 10 homes on it, but there's a lot of shallow area that you know, you can see 20 to 100 boats out there on the weekend and everybody parks their boat, gets out into the water, and it's wonderful. Brings the adult beverages, crack yeah. open a cocktail, just yeah. enjoy it. And then you yeah. come back and dolphin out here, manatee yeah. out here. It's, it's not called the Manatee River for no reason. Yeah, you right? see them a lot. Absolutely. So just beautiful spot. And we still have more to show you, y'all. This balcony, you know, the views, <laughs> it's incredible, but we still have other spots to show you. We're going to take you downstairs. We're going to show you this incredible pool. We're going to go check out the dock and wrap up this amazing home tour of this great property. Yeah. Speaking of view of the pool, this is the best spot right yeah. here to look at it. It is. All right, Marcia. Now I know you've pulled up to this dock with your boat before, but can you tell us some of the features about the Manatee River and life on, on the river here itself? Okay. Many features on the river. If you head out east, it's a lot more vegetation, more natural and quiet. So we like to go out that way when I have a picnic or quiet boat ride. All along the river, including right across the river, there's two really great restaurants with live music, if not every day of the week for sure, on the weekend. So that's really fun to boat to. They have slips. Heading west, there's more restaurants to go to with live music or you can head right out to the gulf of mexico so marcia that takes us to the other part of having the covered lanai now yeah also if you live in florida and you guys can see the sun right now you don't know how intense it is but we do <laughs> we can feel it <laughs> we can feel it absolutely so having a covered lanai is key and you can see here you know that big table a place to come grill you mentioned that yeah. earlier that steven and the owner were out here grilling and chilling so to speak and then we've also got another section of the covered lanai it goes all the way across the back of the house which makes it very functional yeah right enough room for another table a, an outdoor kitchen space which is something that would be a nice addition to this it home, would right? be it'd be great i hope you've enjoyed touring this property as much as we've enjoyed showing it to you Absolutely. And if you want to get hold of Marsha and take a private tour of this property, all of our contact information is listed down below. The current asking price is going to be listed down below and a link to the property website. So you can see all the room sizes, all the details, including HOAs, everything you're going to want to know. The nitty gritty is going to be down there for you. And as always, Marsha, we say every single time, go out and what? Live that Tampa life.